following some developing news. Calls for police reform in the capital city in the wake of George Floyd's death. Protesters are gathered outside Hartford City Hall demanding that city leaders defund the police department. This as the council is preparing to vote on its budget. For more, we go live now to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino at City Hall. Mike, what's the scene there like now? Well, Aaron, they've actually moved inside City Hall, and I'll move out of the way so you can see what's going on as they try to be heard by the council. As you mentioned, the council is still negotiating the budget that they plan to vote on this evening. But we do know at least a couple of councillors are sympathetic to their concerns. Now, these protesters have been out here since noon today uh, with speeches, chants, and some uh, music and dancing as well, trying to advocate for a defunding of the police department. And what exactly does that mean? Well, that depends on who it is that you're talking to. To, as I mentioned, some of the working family party members of the council want to propose a 25% cut to the police budget, targeting specific line items, with that money then going to services like mental health needs and other services. Uh, but some of the people here just want to completely cut the funding, even abolish the police department to move all of that money to other services and as a chance to restart, similar to what happened in Camden, New Jersey, where they abolished their police department seven years ago and put it under the control of the county police department there. But the Hartford Police Department is pushing back, or rather the Hartford Police Union is pushing back, raising concern that this will lead to a rise in crime. And Mayor Luke Bronin, he's proposed a 1.5% cut to the budget. Well, he says that anything deeper will actually hurt the chances for, for, for reform for the department. Take a listen. Completely cut it. If your job is to protect and serve and you are not living up to those expectations, that needs to be scrapped. They want to see community service officers. They want to see walk beats. They want officers out of their car, not just responding from call to call. Now, we reached out to the Democratic leadership on the council, but they weren't available to comment today. The council is scheduled to be negotiating their budget until at least 5 o'clock, if not later. As soon as they're done, they will go into a public session for a vote. We'll obviously, we'll continue to be out here throughout the evening. Reporting live from the Capitol, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, much more to come on that.